November 30th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Revelation chapter 19 from the New Testament. After these things, I heard what sounded like the loud voice of a vast throng in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God, because his judgments are true and just. For he has judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her sexual immorality and has avenged the blood of his servants poured out by her own hand. Then a second time the crowd shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke rises from her forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures threw themselves to the ground and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, saying, Amen! Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and all you who fear him, both the small and the great. Then I heard what sounded like the voice of a vast throng, like the roar of many waters, and like loud crashes of thunder. They were shouting, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the all-powerful, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him glory, because the wedding celebration of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. She was permitted to be dressed in bright, clean, fine linen, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Then the angel said to me, Write the following, Blessed are those who are invited to the banquet at the wedding celebration of the Lamb. He also said to me, These are the true words of God. So I threw myself down at his feet to worship him, but he said, Do not do this. I am only a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hold to the testimony about Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony about Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven opened, and here came a white horse. The one riding it was called Faithful and True, and with justice he judges and goes to war. His eyes are like a fiery flame, and there are many diadem crowns on his head. He has a name written that no one knows except himself. He is dressed in clothing dipped in blood, and he is called the Word of God. The armies that are in heaven dressed in white, clean, fine linen were following him on white horses. From his mouth extends a sharp sword, so that with it he can strike the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod, and he stomps the winepress of the furious wrath of God the All-Powerful. He has a name written on his clothing and on his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Then I saw one angel standing in the sun, and he shouted in a loud voice to all the birds flying high in the sky, Come, gather around for the great banquet of God, to eat your fill of the flesh of kings, the flesh of generals, the flesh of powerful people, the flesh of horses and those who ride them, and the flesh of all people, both free and slave and small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies assembled to do battle with the one who rode the horse and with his army. Now the beast was seized and along with him the false prophet who had performed the signs on his behalf, signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. Both of them were thrown alive into the lake of fire burning with sulfur. The others were killed by the sword that extended from the mouth of the one who rode the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves with their flesh. God, initially when reading Revelation 19, uh, I got to the part where John throws himself down at the feet of the angel and worships him, and the angel's like, no, 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 you and I are fellow servants. We both worship God. And my, at first, my heart kind of leapt like I wanted to talk about that and how we shouldn't worship idols and how there's some churches that allow you to worship and praise and pray to other people besides you, God. And I, I was going to get on my soapbox. But then right before I recorded this, I stopped for a second and I thought about if I was in John's place and I was seeing all of this. And I think about the emotions I have inside of me for you that they are so big and bursting that I don't even have complete vocabulary to attach names to how I feel about you. I don't have that vocab vocabulary to talk about how big you are and how glorious you are. And I'm truly stunned day after day that 
you chose someone like me and I get the opportunity every single day to glorify you like that to me is absolutely amazing so for a moment I put myself in John's place instead of fussing at him I thought gosh I would probably do the same thing like he's actually tried to worship angels twice but can you imagine being in the presence of all of this purity and holiness and excitement and your glory God and having these angels talk about you I would probably throw myself down at their feet as well not even necessarily worshiping them but just the fact that they are part of that world that part of that heavenly realm that that we all talk about and dream about and, and desire to go to I know it's wrong for him to have worshiped the angel but I truly think that he was just so stunned at everything going on I probably wouldn't be able to stand anymore just being around all of that gloriousness and, and he hasn't even gotten to you yet he's been communicating with these angels who are who are sharing all these things with him and, and showing him um, these different judgments and plagues and the and the bowls and and here comes Jesus riding out on a white horse and I don't know God I think if I got that close to all of that I would probably fall on my knees too I know that we're not supposed to worship anyone else I, I very clearly know that I very clearly know that there's nobody out there who deserves my praise my glory to you my prayer my attention I completely know that but I guess you know with John being a human I, I guess I kind of understand what he was doing just being in awe and overwhelmed at everything that was going on with him God I wish for that today for everyone listening to this video right now I wish for all of us to be overwhelmed overwhelmed with your glory your sovereignty with your grace with your mercy overwhelmed with your love and your forgiveness of it, of us overwhelmed with the fact that you chose us you actually wrote our names down in a book before the world was even created you chose us I mean that alone is just crazy awesome exciting God, allow that excitement to be in our hearts through as we go through our day as, as we go to work as we go to school uh, as we deal with kids at home or whatever that looks like in our lives God allow that that worship to happen throughout the day of us just falling at your feet in praise and worship at the freedom you've given us the forgiveness that you have given us that we so don't deserve and the incredible opportunity of eternal life you know the the fourth blessing comes in this particular chapter where we are invited to that eternal banquet with you God allow our excitement to be with us all day long excited that we've been chosen excited that we are your children excited that we have a God who loves us so much that he was willing to send his only son to die for us the ultimate supreme sacrifice for us so undeserving but you King of King Lord of Lords above all deserve our praise our excitement our worship our hearts our lives God allow that excitement to continue throughout the day and let it overflow from our hearts into the lives of people who are around us people we encounter today all these people who need to hear more about this amazing love that you have for everyone allow that same love and that same mercy and that same grace to reflect in my life for others God and I pray for all of this for everyone listening through your son Jesus Christ Amen